here we're going to take a look at a special type of parentheses that comes up in order of operations, and that is the absolute value. Now, absolute values work just like any other old parentheses, meaning we must simplify inside them before we do anything else. But as we do, the last step is that it will make the number inside positive after it has been completely simplified. In other words, looking at this first example, we're going to first simplify whatever's inside the absolute value. Simplify the absolute value first, and then we will make it positive, because that's what absolute value does. It's the distance from zero. So let's take a look at how that looks with this first example. Remembering our order of operations, Pim does, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And in the parentheses, the absolute value parentheses, we see another set of parentheses in the 5 plus 4. So that's what we're going to do first. We have negative 3 times the absolute value of 2 to the 4th minus 5 plus 4 is 9 squared. Still inside the parentheses or absolute value, we see to do exponents next. A couple exponents to take care of. So we now have negative 3 times the absolute value of 2 to the 4th, which is 16. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, minus 9 squared, which is 81. Still working the parentheses, that absolute value, 16 minus 81, 16 minus 81 is negative 65, so we have negative 3 times the absolute value of negative 65. And we're still not technically done with it yet, because we actually have to take the absolute value. That's when we're done with the parentheses, after we take the absolute value, and it must be done on its own step. Taking the absolute value, we have negative 3 times the absolute value of negative 65 is positive 65. And now we're ready to finish by actually multiplying negative 3 times 65, which is negative 195, yeah, 195. Let's try another example where there's an absolute value in the problem, and we need to do what's inside the absolute value first, and then make it positive to continue simplifying. In example 2, we see that there is an absolute value, and inside that absolute value are in parentheses, and inside that parentheses are some exponents. So let's do the exponents. Before we do anything else, inside the absolute value, 2 minus 4, absolute value of 3 squared plus, inside the parentheses now, 5 squared is 25, minus 6 squared is 36. And still working the parentheses inside the parentheses, finishing with the subtraction, 25 minus 36. So we now have 2 minus 4, absolute value of 3 squared plus, 25 minus 36 is negative 11. And now that that inner parentheses is done, we'll continue with the next parentheses, the absolute value, simplifying inside it, the exponent coming before we do any addition or subtraction. So we have 2 minus 4, absolute value of 3 squared is 9, plus negative 11. Continuing inside that parentheses, or absolute value, the 9 plus 11, so we have 2 minus 4, absolute value of negative 2. And now, finally, that that absolute value only has a number in it, it's been completely simplified, now we can actually take the absolute value. So we have 2 minus 4, and it was 4 times the absolute value, so we'll have 4 times. The absolute value of negative 2 is positive 2, distance from 0. And now we can work outside of the absolute value by multiplying. 2 minus 8, 4 times 2 is 8, and finally subtracting to get our final answer of negative 6. I want to note in there the subtraction at the beginning of the problem, 2 minus 4. 
a common error students run into is they see that 2 minus 4 at the beginning, and they want to do that subtraction early. But where does subtraction come at the order of operations? Subtraction comes at the end. That 2 minus 4 is not in parentheses, so that 2 minus that subtraction step has to be done at the end of the problem, not too early. Notice we weren't subtracting 4 at all, we were actually subtracting 8. We actually did 2 minus 8 when it was correct. So please be careful of that error as you're simplifying. Other than that, absolute value, just like parentheses, simplify inside first, and then you have one extra step, simplify what's in the absolute value.